we'll delve deeper into stator in motors. You could see the stator here. The stator assembly includes a lamination stack and winding. The lamination stack is the metal component, while the winding consists of copper wire wound around the metal piece. The simple illustration of the motor is shown in the figure on the left. The figure illustrates the lamination stack, winding, and permanent magnet. When current flows through the winding, the stator becomes electromagnet. Depending on the direction of the current, the stator can either attract or repel the magnet. This force causes the rotor, which has the magnet mounted on it, to spin. Likewise, when the current flows in the opposite direction, the permanent magnet is repelled by the stator. As you know, magnetic flux travels from the North Pole to the South Pole, passing through the lamination stack. The lamination stacks reduce energy loss due to eddy currents by creating a path of least resistance for the magnetic flux. This leads to a higher motor efficiency and reduce the energy required to operate the motor. For lamination stack, the commercial focus has been the iron borne silicon formulation. The most pervasive formulations are 85 to 95 percent iron and 1 to 5 percent boron and 5 to 10 percent silicon. As shown in this table, Toyota electric cars use a lamination thickness of approximately 0.3 millimeters. These 0.3 millimeter lamination sheets are stacked on top of each other to form a lamination stack. The thickness of lamination is contingent upon your specific application. These lamination sheets can be assembled with embossed feature or interlocking feature or welding to form a lamination stack. Additionally, the lamination sheets can be glued together. The glued lamination stacks provide better motor efficiency but can increase the manufacturing cost compared to the embossed and welding type assemblies. The thinner laminations can significantly reduce the eddy current effects in the iron cores. The eddy currents are circular currents that flow on the metal surface when it interacts with a rotating magnetic field. The thinner the lamination, the smoother the magnetic flux flows and the fewer eddy current losses occurs inside the lamination stack. However, thinner laminations are more expensive and requires more laminations for a given stack height which can increase the processing time. As shown in the eddy current loss equation, the loss is proportional to the square of the lamination thickness, D. So if the lamination thickness doubles, the eddy current loss increases by a factor of 4. In certain applications, the lamination thickness can be as small as 0.025 mm, which equal to one thousandth of an inch. These extremely thin laminations are made from amorphous metal. Amorphous solid is a non-crystalline material in which the atoms are arranged in a highly disordered state. The primary use of magnetic amorphous metal is in electrical distribution transformers. The combination of an insulating layer with such thin material results in a very low eddy current losses and enables high frequency operation. The eddy current loss is proportional to the square of the magnetic field frequency in the core, as shown in the equation below. So, very thin lamination stacks are ideal for machines operating at high frequencies. As you could imagine, reducing the iron losses is an opportunity for further increasing the motor electrical efficiency. But the cost is the issue, because it is hard to manufacture. Until the manufacturing barriers can be surmounted, amorphous metal motors will be a niche market item. Today, we covered stator cores in the motors. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos.